Peace everyone, it's Black High Priestess. Um, I figured I'd just um, make a quick video real quick because it's kind of on my heart. I'm not really prepared, but I feel like I should speak while, you know, while the, the ancestors are kind of here, the EME. Um, I started a series a couple years ago. I think I have like three to five videos entitled hatred of black women and then with specific topics and I'm going to be reinstating that topic because spiritually there's a lot of things happening that um the spiritual leaders in the black community are not taking responsibility for and the book of Ezra chapters 9 and 10 specifically the end of um the book of Ezra and the bible talking about the uh, measures against mixed marriages, um, interracial dating, um, you know, just talking about the mixing of cultures, gods, bloodlines that dilutes um, the Hebrew Israelite covenant and the Hebrew Israelite bloodline, which holds the, the, the covenant with the most high. Um, no one's talking about it and it's because there are no real witches now i don't want to say there are no real witches um no good witches are coming together and taking responsibility for what's happening and the the spiritualists in the black community are very much at a pseudo Gnostic level, not an active practicing one in defeating white supremacy and demons. Most of that has to do with the fact that black people hate their God, specifically Hebrew Israelite black people, um, are exercising extreme hatred for their God and their savior based on misconceptions, miseducation, white supremacy, and refusal to come out of a slave mentality and submit to the authority and the will of God and excuses blaming white supremacy for why you cannot submit to the authority of the Most High through Christ, through Christ. And this is the biggest problem. Black people, Hebrew Israelite, um, Hebrew Jew or even Jewish, which is really dealing with the, the czars and the European non-black, um, non-African, non-Hebrew Jews. Some would call them the synagogue of Satan. I'm not going to put that blanket statement out just yet, but, you know, essentially Jewish means being semi, which is half and half. And that's kind of what I'm getting at with this with this thing. We're dealing with the, the Hebrew bloodline directly from Abraham, which includes Hagar, who also fathered Ishmael, whose father was Abraham, meaning modern day Muslims or it, the Islamic um, are basically the descendants of the Ishmaelites. Um, so, you know, my point is, as a witch, I can see the spell, and I and I know full well me being black high priestesses are are you know rights that I came into and, and was born with and have earned and I need to stay on my square which is specifically elevating black women and and really defeating the sexism within the black race that allows white supremacy to constantly defeat us constantly constantly um the problem with the black race the reason why the black race remains inferior is because of the men Black men in Hollywood have sold out the black race to the New World Order, to the Illuminati, to, you know, Lucifer, Lucy, Baphomet, 
um, what you're really dealing with is is the Jezebel spirit and other minions um, of the adversary to these demonic entities. Black men have sold out the race and sold out black women specifically because the race is the union of the black man and the black woman. And dividing and conquering is what happens. And dividing and conquering the black man and the black woman is easy because of how easily the black man is manipulated. The black woman's natural vulnerability being the weaker vessel was raped during slavery. The anger of not being able to protect the black woman from being raped and subsequently being castrated in holistic ways, not just physically through the brutality that, that happened to the black slaves, men, women, and children alike, but mentally, physically, emotionally, socially, financially, economically, politically, spiritually castrating the black man from being able to do what a man is designed to do biologically, which is to protect and provide for a woman so he can establish a family or more, a nation, a kingdom, blah, blah, blah. Black men are still holding on to that. Whereas the black woman has had to move on from not being protected. The black woman has become strong while the black man has become weaker. The black man has not taken that anger and more aggressively protected the black woman. He has blamed the black woman and he has expressed how inferior he truly genuinely is. Again, blanket statement. If it don't apply, let it fly. More importantly, if it don't apply and you're getting mad, why aren't you speaking up? Why did you have to wait for black high priestess to tell the truth about why black people are still inferior? Why isn't anyone holding black men accountable for their hatred for black women? Because black women are a representation of how inferior the black man is. As long as he can erase us and erase our experiences with him, he can act as if he's made it by being accepted as sex slaves and sperm donors by white people whose genes would have died out in America, if not globally, through recessiveness, which is why there's a campaign in America to erase black women and get black men to breed with white women because in order to be black, you have to come through a black womb. The Hebrew bloodline dealing with Abraham has a covenant with the Most High. Meaning if you come from Abraham, which King David obviously did and obviously Christ did too, you're, un you, 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 you're dealing with the Most High as your God because Abraham's bloodline is the one that the Most High made the covenant with. Meaning we, we have the covenant with the Most High dealing with the Old Testament Levitical laws that the priesthood and, and the judges set forth. Now, If you're of the royal bloodline, meaning you're specifically of King David's bloodline, which Christ also was. You have even more responsibility. Because what was Solomon's sin? What did Solomon do to ruin the everything that King David established? kept sleeping with foreign women and let them worship their gods in Jerusalem until the end of the Old Testament when Nebuchadnezzar and them were ordained by the Most High to conquer the Hebrew Israelites because of the men's wickedness and refusal to repent. The kings. 
Who has even more responsibility than the royal bloodline and the kings? Those who have the priesthood. Because the priesthood is the divine counselor of the kings. So if the priesthood is not upholding the Levitical laws, how are you going to counsel the kings to uphold those laws who are going to establish those standards in the nation? What am I getting at? The priesthood of the black community has sold out the black woman. The priesthood is not exercising banishing ridding the black community of black men who are betraying black women creating single mothers abusing raping molesting black girls and black women and bringing white women as queens into the community to oppress the black women who are doing all of the work no one's addressing the pimping and I know because I come from Pimp Central, Chicago. Inner city Chicago. So I know. I've known all of my life. And, and, and as black high priestess, I'm warning you all. Stay away from black men with white women. And if you have any ounce of Holy Spirit, you know exactly what I'm talking about and you'll use discernment. Because if you're really sp spiritual people, we have the ability to look beyond the phenotype. But most of you all can't. You are under the spell. So it has to be simple for you dummies. Stay away from black men with white women. For the spiritual priesthood, start exercising the demons in your community. Exercise the, 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 the demons that are com coming between black men and black women. That are coming between a black woman's love for her hair. So she, and, and, so she can pass down a crown to her daughter. And know how to do it. Instead of elevating white femininity. And encouraging the black man to want something other than what God made for him. By trying so hard to look like her. And act like her. Being a gold digger instead of a woman with African skills, with African home making skills, community building skills, child bearing, rearing, raising skills. Twerking does not count. Unless it's for your husband. No, no one is getting the black women together. Everyone's coddling black men and concerned with black men's health. Why? Because black men are babies and black women are the ones dealing with mental disorders while still raising the children, starting businesses, holding the community together. Meanwhile, allowing themselves to be silenced at the fact that black men are actively leaving you because he hates you, black woman. He hates the fact that you can survive without him, that you've had to. And his thanks to you for being strong and not openly betraying him and being by his side and not being as outspoken as somebody like Black High Priestess with spiritual authority to correct this shit. His thanks to your silent suffering and his betrayal is openly elevating, worshiping every black male celebrity who hates black women, even though they may have a black first wife. Or baby mother. They hate you. So they go get a white woman. To, to, to demean you. And to make you feel less than. And meanwhile who's really suffering. Because most sisters know they look good. Most sisters are, are not going to. Go trying to look like a white girl. When they're already secure. And they already know that they've got a man hooked and that the man already married them or had a baby by them and they know that they don't want this man anymore because they see little fuck boy uh insecure inferior ways in him and so he goes and gets a white woman to try and get back at the black women who demand more in men who cannot step up to the plate Every time you see a black man with a white woman, he is one, he's either angry at a black woman who rejected him or belittled him 
And I'm not saying that it's always um, out of inferiority. There's a lot of black men who get mistreated by women and who get mistreated in the home and things leak over to things that happen in high school. And, and, and a lot of times these brothers, um, they have, they are so scarred from one incident with a, with a really sexy black woman that he feels inferior to black women. Because one, because one woman made him feel small from a sexual situation or from being rejected or for some something that happened in high school, that he actively dates white women because he genuinely feels inferior. You have, I would, I would say about thirty percent of black men dating white women are they actually feel inferior to the black women. He's right. Black men are inferior to black women. Always have been. Always will be. That's why. The interracial dating, it's an attack on you, black woman. It's the black man using white supremacy as a weapon against you because you have made it without him. And you still choose in him. When all black men have is dick to offer. If it don't apply, let it fly. If it don't apply, why aren't you speaking up? Because Black men who do have something other than dick to offer are not with black women. They're with white women. Or they're actively seeking white people to integrate with so their shit can pop off. So they can feel successful. So they can keep making money or so they can start making more money. Black men are the quickest sellouts and will call a black woman a hoe at the drop of a dime when black women are the ones who do sell out their bodies to white supremacy and bring that money back to the hood more often than not. And to, who do sell out their bodies to the black crackers and the, the misogynist male chauvinists in the hood who are nothing but pimps and they still bring that money back and support some raggedy ass black men. Unless it's their, it's your child. What I'm saying is sisters are always doing for black men. Which shows how stupid black women are. But also how loyal. And it's another reason the black race remains inferior. Black women go along to get along. And black women know our strength. And, that, and that's why it's a betrayal on black men because black women have shown the world I will actively choose black men no matter how much he hates me. Because you're superior to the black man. He ain't nothing but your son. And that's why black women keep dealing with inferior black men. While the black man will leave you and betray you the moment he can get his hands on anything that's white supremacist. Any taste of the white man's superiority whether it's through interracial dating or having a baby or selling out and getting some money or degrading the black woman in his lyrics or making artwork that shows inter interracial dating, elevating white women and elevating Latino women and elevating white Asian women and white European women and white Native American women and white Indian women and white African women. And demeaning every actual genetically dominant aboriginal female with dark skin and kinky hair. And a triple dark phenotype. The black man will do anything. And I mean anything to get a taste of the white man's power. Because he is inferior. He will be gay. He will be homosexual. He will act dumb. He will play dumb. He will keep himself from getting educated. He will listen to music that degrades him, degrades his mother, degrades his sister, that degrades every woman who's ever done anything for him. And he will bump that music until the whole hood is death. While it's calling his mother, his daughter, his sister, his cousin, and, and his wife a bitch and a hoe. And he will then go two years later and get a white woman to, so he can sh show her off to his boys like the new car, like an like a accessory to his hatred for, for himself. The black man will do anything to get a taste of the white man's power. Mostly be silent about the other black men who have openly betrayed the race by, by, by treating black women worse than the slave masters did. 
You expect your enemy to treat to, to enslave you in warfare. So why has the black man gone to war with the black woman to keep the black woman beneath him? Why is the black man at war with the black woman? Sisters, you need to ask yourselves this. And you need to also ask yourself, why do you remain silent every time he de degrades you? You can't even make one little five minute post, five minute video, one post, one comment to show your allegiance with black women only with with not not with everyone, because everyone isn't suffering what the real dark skinned black woman is suffering. She's been erased. You can't you can't even find black women to promote and elevate the darkest black woman. You can't you you can't find black men doing it. It will be a light skinned man. It is only light-skinned men who will elevate black women. Sisters, stop lying to yourselves. You have all these white, mulatto, mixed, non-black female friends who don't speak up for you. But they're dating all of the black guys and you're single. If it don't apply, let it fly. You, 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 you Stop cozying up to, to all these white women who don't speak up for you. When, when you don't get promoted, when you don't get um, the equality, when, 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 you, when you don't get the opportunities, when you don't get the raise, when you don't get the loan, when you don't get the job, when you don't get the man, and they're not speaking up for you because they know it's because you're black. How many of the, how many of these, you know, I just saw a post about, um, you know, telling, telling single women to, instead of engaging with a married man in an affair, encourage him to be closer to his wife. Yeah. That's what sisterhood is about. Stop allowing white women to convince you they're sisters with you when all they want is your secrets of Vodun to keep these black men that they use uh, satanic magic to get. You sisters, get your head out of your ass and stop acting like you're witches and admit you have no power and come to a real witch. There is no black witch who is not speaking up for the interracial fuckery that has spiritually enslaved our race. And I can't believe how many women are silent about it. Who are claiming Vodun, claiming witchcraft, cl claiming all of this? Where is where is um, your your spiritual authority to correct this? You have none. That's why your you you. That's why your tongue. The cat got your tongue. That's why the white women got your tongue and are silencing you. Call them out. Why are you women afraid of white supremacy? Why are black women so afraid of white women? Why? Because black men are not going to come to your aid. And you know it. Because you know all of your sons and your ex-husbands and your ex-boyfriends and your baby daddies and your brothers and your cousins and your uncles are with white women. Maybe some of y'all are, 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 have, have gotten with a white man to, to mask your pain and mask your anger and mask how, how hurt you are from the betrayal of black men collectively. Black men are not going to speak up about this. Black men don't even know what a black woman is. He'll qualify any dog as a black woman as long as he can fuck it without being held accountable for betraying the race. These are things that, that if a white man says, a whole, a whole movement and a, and, a, and a whole campaign will get started if one white man says it. Or if a white woman says it. That, that's why certain truths are only accepted when certain people who look a certain way are of a certain sex and a certain class level can say. But the, this is a truth that the whole world knows. And white men don't have to get up uh, saying it all the time.
they 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 know that they're still in a superior position as long as a black man is thirsty for his woman and his power instead of thirsty for the most high salvation and thirsty for the authority to to be a man again and be uncastrated and have your dick back so you can protect and provide for the black woman black men are not thirsty to protect and provide for black women There is no more revolution because all of the black men said, oh, I, I don't need to take responsibility. I can sleep with a white woman. And now and now the revolution is over for me. And instead of actually preaching black revolution and dating black, which is the first and only way to make the black dollar bounce. To make the black bloodline bounce. And this is what I want to talk about. Alliances, royal bloodlines used to used to. Um, mate brother and sister and, and, and cousins before they would mate with somebody who was a peasant of the same race. There is no royalty in the black race as long as there's this much racial mixing. Why do you think it why do you think it's so prevalent? They've diluted the bloodline, the heritage. There's no Hebrew Israelite. Uh, direct lines with the covenant the priesthood is under a satanic spell so they can't convince the king all of the kings meaning all of the successful prominent black men are literally married to white women and i don't care if she has a latina accent with some black hair that's a cracker some most likely is a demon you i, I don't care what you call her she's not black to all these black men who want to say that their woman, that this white woman in blackface is black because she doesn't come from Europe. You're full of pork shit. That you probably eat at the satanic rituals with these white women that you are married to. Let a real witch speak and tell you all some real spirituality to do. You you all you all want to follow Black High Priestess? I need every black witch last year to, to start doing rituals, defeating the spell of white supremacy on the black woman. Let the black man be cursed. Let him defeat his own spell. Let these all these Gnostic black men and everything that all these niggas worship, let them do it. We need to free black women. Don't let Hollywood fool you. There's 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 more than enough black men for the for the black women who deserve black love under under the uh covenant of the most high. But you you still got most black people ain't shit just like most people ain't shit. So let them stay cursed. But I need I need black witches to start being sisters. How are you a coven? How are you a witch when you don't practice any sisterhood? Don't expect white people to do it. If you're a real witch, what have you done for black women? You all know exactly. Every, every, every witch knows exactly what has happened to women. What have you done for black women? I can understand if you're so estranged from the conditions of the black woman in America that this may be your first time hearing it. Well, that's what Black High Priestess is here for. I have a spiritual alliance with the Nordic deities. So I can now summon a, a, a allegiances. I can now summon um, allies. Now, I'm not saying I'm going to hold um, white people or hold white witches accountable for the things that 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 African the African heritage is accountable for. But I can. I can hold the Nordic pantheon accountable for for the alliance and for the help that black women need in defeating the war that black men have waged on us and it is spiritual. The black man is working for Jezebel. And the and the the white woman is the tool. And I'm calling I'm calling the the mages and the witches.
the spiritual, the real spiritual priesthood and anybody who claims to, 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 to know Christ and to be able to expel demons in Christ's name and to be able to use prayer. If you are a Christian, I don't give a fuck what your race is. If you are a genuine Christian, you need to be preaching against interracial dating and what it has done to destroy the black community, descendants of slaves. How dare you? How dare you speak of the Bible and not actively help the, 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 the Hebrew Israelites who are suffering the a form of demonic possession? You there there are no there's no black power in the black race. Look how easily black men become demonically possessed and how easily black women become silenced and pitted against each other. Black women get ready to get out of America or get ready to band together. We are not welcome here. The, the main points I want to make, why interracial dating is prevalent, why we, we as real, real witches need to start calling mass rituals to elevate the black woman and get her from under the thumb of these black men who have waged war. We need to elevate black love. I don't want to hear one single person utter Oshun's name. If you have not been since you've been initiated. Elevating black love, especially you crackers who want to come into Vodun. How dare you claim Oshun when you're not elevating the union between the black man and the black woman, which is the only thing that will destroy white supremacy. The only thing. Why is the black race inferior? Because the black man went to war with the black woman instead of the white man. Why? Because he is inferior. He has shown you. He has proven it. Accept it and act accordingly already. Everyone. White people are. White people know black men are inferior. Why? Why are they walking around with black men on these leashes? These chains that black, black men have and these white women in, in these entertainment industries and corporate industries shamelessly, shamelessly collecting the most eligible black men or just black, black men in general, shamelessly. Why? Because the, the, cause, cause 